Uh, my name is Mika from Oro Audio, and here's a quick preview of the company, company history, and so on. So we started in uh, late uh, 90s, but actually the production of speakers were uh, started around uh, 2002, and the main goal was to service uh, not for our own needs only, but smaller rental companies, mid-sized rental companies, and then we moved on to the installation as well. So. Uh, Nightclubs were the big thing, and also uh, first, let's say, smaller uh, size line arrays became popular, and that was what brought us to the mid-size uh, rental companies. Um, from that, we moved on uh, to, uh, let's say, uh, club systems, uh, maybe uh, concert halls, trying to spread around uh, Europe, and that took a quite a long time actually and also now we are working even in China and further apart basically servicing the installation market mainly that's the uh, where we are at the moment in technology wise I think the end fire technology is what we've been uh, developing over the past 10 years now and we also incorporated that to the uh, top speakers as well and that creates a unique product where you actually don't need to worry about any difficult uh, processing to actually cancel the low meets as well. Uh, I think that's one of the things. Then on the other side, we do a lot of uh, one-way speakers for the small, uh, small frame installations. And we also incorporate that into the studio monitor range. So. Uh, those are the two technologies that we are pushing forward and I think uh, I've not seen many similar products in the market at the moment so I, I, th I guess that qualifies as a difference. And the directivity thing is a really key feature nowadays in a lot of uh, concerts and uh, even in inside the buildings. There's a lot of limits, you don't want to disturb the neighbors. So it's a big thing to have it uh, on board in every pro product. It, in, in our case, it basically comes along uh, depending on whether you want to use it or not. It's uh, embedded in the products. So when you, whenever you use it in uh, outdoors, you can adjust the, uh, the levels where you want them, usually to the audience and uh, disturb the neighbors less, and it helps when you don't need to do it um, manually, you just need to get the speakers there. Uh, like we said, they are, they are cardio support first for dummies, so you don't need to know anything. Just put them there and go for it. So, uh, going back to the history, in uh, early 2000s when we started the thing, we tried to use a couple of factories, tried to use a couple of uh, subcontractors uh, to build the speakers and we really quickly noticed that instead of using others it, it's a very uh, timely process to get them done well it's much better to do them by yourself and we started basically building the factory uh, and uh, now nowadays we do most of the uh, production work in-house in Finland and it helps to create uh, let's uh, put it another way it helps to solve the problems very early on on the design process and we can continue that sort of development from that sort of uh, um, in in-house approach so yeah uh, we develop most of our stuff in in-house and we also produce them and source it locally for the amplifier side uh, we are cooperated with XTA electronics in UK and they are doing an OEM version of their own amplifier for us. And for our installation part, we are doing a, a amplifier range uh, based on our own design and using Hypex modules. That's basically where we are doing uh, the smallest installation side and the bigger side is the XTA amplifiers. At the moment, we have a, a dealer network around the world, but uh, there's basically three ways to do it. We can just uh, be in direct contact with us. We have a showrooms in Finland and also there's a hubs in uh, Spain, UK, Dublin and uh, hopefully in Poland uh, really soon.